I'd say I'm quite like my character, Stacey, because um, when I first read the script, I thought, oh my God, this is me. I've got to get this part. Um, she's just very much like a young version of me. Um, I'm a home bird. I love my family and I'm very, very Welsh, obviously. I talk a lot. I'm very excitable. Um, I don't think I'm as naggy as her. I think as the series have gone on and she's, you know, grown up and her and Gavin have got married and all of that and stuff, sometimes she gets a bit naggy with him. I'm much more laid back than that, although my husband might say different. But yeah, I would say I'm quite similar to her. My favourite scene to film on Gavin and Stacey was in series one and it was the hen party. <gasps> they had a real life stripper and I'd never <laughs> experienced a stripper before and I haven't had one since. I think his performance was enough to last me a lifetime. The director said to the stripper, just, you know, sort of, just let's do a rehearsal and do what you normally, you know, would do. So they, he sat me on this chair and he put his uh, policeman's hat on me. And, um, and then I just remember his shirt bursting open. He put oil all over himself and then just grabbed my head. He probably wouldn't even be able to do it these days rubbed my head all over his greasy chest and then in sort of one move he leapt around and landed on my lap did some sort of press ups uh, but that was all like that was all fine although the crew were all laughing so much the camera was shaking i was hysterical obviously and then i just remember he stood about this far away from my face pulled his trousers and all he had on was a thong <laughs> which had the words TB in crystals um, on the front of it, because he was called Toy Boy. And, uh, and I thought that's where we were going to end, but oh no, he continued. And he went, truth like that, pulled his thong off and he was completely and utterly naked. I've never been so shocked in my life. We had some whipped cream, a producer who's whispering naughty things in my ear and, and a fellow who's just like stripping. I mean, it was really quite easy to film. We were just hysterical. It did take, I think, practically a whole day, but it's one of the best days filming I've ever had. I've no idea. I've no idea what happened on their fishing trip. They've never said anything to us about it. They've never ever told us, to be perfectly honest, I don't think they even know themselves. And I don't think anybody will know. Your guess is as good as mine. You know, I was 29 and it completely changed my career. And it was really nice to be in something which really put Wales, you know, on the map for people to recognise that, you know, what it's like being in Wales and the people and the accent and, and that it was sort of really the first thing where people were like, oh my God, it's the Welsh thing. Because we'd had the Scottish and the Irish and the Northern, but there wasn't really anything that was Welsh. And I'm really proud that, I, you know, I was in the thing that got to be the Welsh thing. Oh, I love filming in Barry. It's just so nice anyway. It reminds me of home because I'm from Swansea and down the Mumbles. You know, it's just a really nice seaside town. And um, filming in Barry is just exactly the same. You've got the beach, you've got the slots, you've got the chips, the ice cream, and then also you've got the people. I mean, when we went down there filming, we'd, we'd you know, get to like Gwen's house and you'd get out of the car and everybody, or oh, there'd be so many crowds and everybody was so lovely and so kind and they'd all bring their dogs down as well. I mean, filming the last Christmas special, it was lovely because you'd go outside, you know, from the slots and people would have all brought their dogs and I'd spend most of my time out there, you know, holding people's puppies and stuff. And Ruth would be like, where's Joe Page? And they'd all be like, she's outside with the dogs again. 